Today, results in for the first round of New York's Democratic primary for mayor will be counted. Ballots in this round allowed voters to rank candidates. Eric Adams has a strong early lead with the most first choice in person votes. But votes awarded in the process of elimination still makes it possible for two other candidates to catch up. NBCNews.com senior reporter Jane Tim joins us now to help us understand all of this. Jane, how will those ballots be counted today? Hey, Morgan. So I know the process can seem a little confusing, but once voters do it, they tend to understand it and broadly tend to support it. So basically how it works is you rank your candidates one through five on your ballot. And then if no one wins a majority on that first round, as happened in the New York City mayor race with Eric Adams getting 32 percent, they eliminate the lowest scoring candidate and then have those ballots go for those voters second choice candidate. So if you say you voted for, you know, red, green and blue and blue doesn't get any ballots, blue's second choices go for their their, their second choices are counted in those ballots. So help me understand something, though, Jane. I mean, what scenarios, for example, could push Eric Adams out of first place at this point? Yes. So it depends on if he's alienated all of his rivals supporters. So if the other candidates in the race really just didn't like Eric Adams and he only was in, uh, supported by his core base, uh, that's where you could see another candidate like Maya Wiley or Catherine Garcia right. catch up because they're about 10 percent behind him. But there's a lot of votes in the race. You know, Eric Adams has 32 percent. So if, you know, 70 percent of other people, you know, a good chunk of them supported one of his rivals instead of splitting those votes between the two of them, the leaders, you could see someone catch up. But it's hard to overcome a 10 percent lead even in ranked choice voting. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty big lead. But 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 since those absentee ballots still need to be counted, Jane, can you give us some idea of when we'll actually know the winner of this Democratic primary race? Yeah, so it's going to be a couple more weeks, Morgan. It'll wow. be the week of July 12th. We will actually find out who won. The numbers we should get today will be sort of the ranked choice tabulation because you go all the way through and eliminate all of the candidates um, until you have just two um, with the in-person votes. Next week, they'll add more votes from absentee ballots. And then the following week, they add all of the ballots together, including cured ballots, which is why this process takes so long. If you make a mistake in your ballot in New York City, you do get an opportunity to fix it so that it does count. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.